Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today we have another tutorial in the series of Excel data analysis. Today we will learn about sum ups in Excel. That's it. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icons to get notified. If you're a professional with minimum one year of experience and an aspiring data analyst looking for online training and certifications from the prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in data analytics offered by Purdue University in collaboration with IBM is just what you need. For more details, head straight to our homepage or simply click on the link in the description box below. Now, without further delay, over to our training. Now, to execute sum ups in Excel, we are on our practical mode. Now, here you can see we have employee ID, name, designation, department, salary, date of birth of employee, and date of joining of employee. Now, for some reason, you wanted to calculate the overall salary designated for HR department. You can simply use the sum function, but what if we had another criteria? If you wanted to calculate the salaries allocated to HR department and only for manager designation, then the sum might not work. You might want to use some summation formula with some sort of filter. That's when exactly the sum of functions come into existence. So you are providing ifs functions over here. So there are two types of sum if functions in Excel. One is sum if and another one is sum ifs. So sum if will only take one reason, but if you wanted to provide multiple reasons or multiple parameters as filters, then sum ifs is your ally. Now let's try to use directly the sum ifs function. So equals to sum ifs, select the second one ifs, right? Then sum range. So you want to calculate the total sum range of salary. So this is your range, comma. Now the condition criteria. So you want the department to be HR, right? So take the entire column of the department, that is column D, comma, which particular value you want to look at. This is HR. Now close the bracket, enter. There you go. So a total of 1,20,000 rupees has been allocated to HR department. Now let's calculate with another condition, which is the department should be HR and the employee designation should be manager alone. Now same equals to sum ifs, select the formula, the same, the total sum range, comma, the first criteria, which is the department. Select the entire department, comma, the value should be HR. Now the second criteria, that is the designation. Select the entire designation column C, comma, the value should be manager. Close the brackets, enter. There you go. So a total of 40,000 rupees has been allocated to HR department and to the manager section or manager designation. So that's how you can use some ifs in Excel. For more details or if you have any doubts regarding any of the topics covered in this session, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you out. And with that, we have reached the end of this session on sum ifs in Excel. So should you need any assistance, whether it is data set, PPT or any other resources used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you and keep learning. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.